filling in. Um, so uh, tonight's set is going to be, it's a little bit complex, a little, a little bit deep. Um, so I sent out some pre-reading for you all to do. Uh, I hope you all managed to get it done. No? Oh, this set's going to be really hard for you. Like a dick! <laughs> yeah, that's the transition we're going with. Uh, so yeah, um, I think penis size is a very important part of the <laughs> Us, and by us I mean me, to apply the scientific method to sex. And if there's one person who's going to make something as fun as sex as boring as science, it's going to be this guy. <laughs> so yeah, I do think I'm, I'm qualified to be uh, the resident uh, genital expert, or, or philosopher, if you will. <laughs> yeah, I've got, like, you know, I think I've got a lot of larger sex, you know. I've not got a lot of i not got a lot of field work down, but um, I've, got, I've got a lot of time on the simulation. <laughs> so, when someone tells you their dick size, because they're obviously drunk or a douchebag, um, there's many, you can analyze certain parts of it and that will tell you a lot about their personality. First of all, one thing's got to tell help. Flaccid or erect. We're going to the playing field rule, because the penis naturally looks between two binary states. <laughs> but Adam, I hear you cry. What about half chub? <laughs> and what I say to that is half chub is an extremely unstable transition state. <laughs> because uncertainty is too large to be considered. <laughs> Therefore must be discounted. But yeah, back to, back to the sausage factory. We gotta know. Are, are the workers on strike? Or is it in full flow? We have to know. <laughs> Second of all, relative size. Now, I'm not ashamed to say this. I've got a small penis. I'm, I'm fine to admit that, but I am quite a big guy, so it might just be far away. <laughs> My third party peer review has not gone back to me. <laughs>